This week's match of the week goes to Nick Wanzak. Nick wrestles such a, a high pace. He moves forward constantly. He's heavy with his hands. Uh, you really get no breaks wrestling him. Before I even went out on the mat, I just told myself, you know, no, no matter what happens, just uh, keep getting back up, get, get in his face, overwhelm this guy, and eventually, you know, I knew he was going to fold. Um, and that's basically how the match ended up going. Uh, first period, uh, you know, looking back on it, this is the area that I need to improve in the most. Uh, I gave up three takedowns right away. Um, you know, and it, I think that's a hard thing against top five guys, uh, you know, going bit or going deep into a hole and then trying to fight my way back out. So going forward, that's what I'm going to look to improve on uh, the most, just little positions here and there. But we were down three takedowns in the first period, but we were still confident that Nick was going to continue to build throughout the match. Going into the second period, I chose to go down. Um, I just wanted to keep putting points on the board. Uh, and keep pressuring him. So I got up to my feet, he brought me down. He tried tilting me up and I threw my hips over top and caught him on his back. And uh, right there, I think, uh, well, he bridged out and we got back to our feet, but right there, I think he kind of mentally broke and the match at that point was done. Um, all I was thinking was get the next takedown, get the next takedown, get the next takedown, score the next point. Um, and at the end of the period, he took a kind of a diving shot and I got a little misdirection go behind and he basically laid flat on his stomach and I got the ride out for the uh, through the set, end of the second period. Um, third period comes up, he chooses down, he actually gets away. Uh, so it was 10 to eight at that point. So it was a one takedown match, but I think it wasn't that close. I don't think he was even thinking about winning. He was thinking more about how tired he was. Um, you know, so I, we got back to our feet. I kept doing little fakes, trying to get him to dive back in and uh, get another goal behind. And that happened. Once I got on top, he laid flat on his belly. And he was completely uh, broken down mentally at that point. Um, uh, his opponent very tough, but was exhausted. While we did give up three takedowns, Wanzak doesn't give anything up e easy. And at that point, it was like I knew I could have got them or could go for the major. So when they restarted, I chopped and got his wrist and went for a wrist tilt. Um, and I probably got one and a half swipes. The ref actually awarded me two points for the major. Um, and that got me really pumped up. You know, you don't see me celebrate a lot. I'm not a big uh, celebration guy, but there's a lot of emotion there. I thought, you know, maybe it would spark some momentum for the team. Um, you know, probably won't see me celebrate again until March 19th when I win the national tournament. So uh, it was just a really cool moment. Uh, it was a pivotal match in my career. It was probably my favorite match that I've wrestled in my career, just the way that um, I was able to even overcome an injury, having practiced all week, came in and still dominated the guy mentally and physically um, after that first period. So it was really fun. Um, I'm looking forward to next Friday, or this upcoming Friday, wrestling the number one guy in my weight and just keep proving um, you know, that I am the best 165 pounder in the country. So.